How are we doing today? I hope we are all um, doing well. Um, welcome to the CB uh, to the sorry CBS has become CBS now to the stand up for today, and I'm going to be facilitating this one today. So um, I don't want you guys to be um, confused that we are starting the day with the CBS. Ah, no. So um, I'm good on my end, and I'm honoured. To, uh, to take us through uh, this session for today. So uh, I think we're going to kick off with uh, quick announcements, if there are any quick announcements. I think from my end, I'll just, uh, I wanted to announce to you guys that today's CBS session is going to be at 11 and not uh, 12 um, UTC as we are used to. So it's only a special case for today. Um, otherwise, every other day it's going to stay as it is unless uh, communicated otherwise. And um, the second uh, announcement is that today we have a guest speaker. So at 12, 12 UT UTC. So I urge you guys to, um, you know, to join the session as early as you can and um and be ready to learn as much as you can from our guest speaker for for it, it's going to be a one hour 30 minute session so i don't know from um um everest do you have anything any announcements? hi mary hi. yeah just to emphasize on the guest talk for today mm -hmm. it's more than it's more than a guest talk so for those those who know that during this training we will have concepts on web3 it's going to focus on this so if you miss it you it will be hard to catch up on the on the concept because it's introduction to uh search uh web3 uh it's the introduction on on web3 and you guys have to attend so you don't miss so it's going to be at 12 p.m utc but we also announce on on slack because i I see not many people on the call. That's from my end. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Everest, um, for emphasizing on that. And I'm really sorry, my background can be a little bit noisy. I, I'm just um, I'm in Nairobi and the apartment I took has very, you know, noisy neighbors. So, hopefully you can forgive me on that um so let's jump straight into it now that we have four minutes uh uh past the uh, top of the hour so um if if you have any uh anything to share any blockers you can just raise your hand it's the same routine but i would like us to kind of really to emphasize on the importance of these sessions so it's not necessarily to just, um, you know, come and um, for you to just share. And it's an opportunity for, uh, for all of us to, to kind of get assistance on what we are really struggling at. And I can say like with a lot of evidence that um, all of us are very motivated into, into working day in, day out. But you know, as they say, motivation is only as good as uh, as the output you give or as the performance you're able to get. So how best do we ensure that our performance is on the top of it? So if you've had any blockers um, doing your work, submitting stuff, so this is the time. Any hands, uh, and for me, unlike Everest, I'm happy to usually you know, call upon people to share so f feel free to just raise your hand so biniam go first okay thank you mary uh, good morning everyone uh, to share uh, my progress so far uh, yesterday I, I was trying to make some of the work uh, more uh, attractive for the interim report so i haven't uh, actually progressed uh, any further than i did uh, yesterday regarding the tasks i was just making the tasks i already did more attractive uh, anyways uh, other than that i intend to complete task three today uh, and work on the career exercise as well 
uh, regarding blockers, I haven't faced any blockers so far, so uh, there is no problem in that area. Uh, thank you. That's good to know. Thank you very much for sharing. And are you confident you're going to submit on time? Is that um, something you're okay with as well, Biniam? Yeah, I'm quite confident. Uh, I'm trying to compensate for uh, the missed uh, submissions last week. Uh, so, yeah, this week uh, uh, I have to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for those who are wondering what you mean by missed submission, so we had a situation where Biniam forgot to click send. Is it submit? Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, that didn't go really well for him. But were you saying anything, William? Yeah, I just said uh, I forgot to press the turn in button after uh, uploading. The, <laughs> the... <laughs> Thanks for sharing. And I hope uh, we'll, we'll learn uh, one or two things from that. So, Martin, your hand is up. Do you want to go next? Please share your, with us your progress. Any any particular blowout and all that? Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, so uh, yesterday it was, uh, I was working on, uh, I, I submitted a task, then I continued working from where I left. Uh, so uh, today uh, I hope I'll be able to wind up uh, on task, uh, the, 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 um, I'll be able to wind up on the dashboard so that uh, I can be able to go through uh, the work. Uh, currently, there is no blocker. Uh, I'm just available for anybody who needs help uh, in case of any blockers that somebody might be, might be facing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Martin. And uh, as you've heard, Martin has, as always, Martin is always offering his help whenever needed. So let's make uh, good use of that. And thank you very much for sharing, sharing your progress. Um, so we'd like to hear from Stella. Stella, how is everything going with your work? How's the progress? Any particular blockers? It can be something um, that is really, even, even something that is small that maybe, or maybe something that you're not uh, very conversant with that is um, making you not, um, uh, not perform to your or, or not produce your work to your potential. So, are you there, Stella? Yes, I hope that you okay, can hear me. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I was able to make my submissions, um, most of them on time. The one of them, though, I I submitted the wrong document and had to uh, redo it, but um. Uh, otherwise, everything else is okay. Uh, uh, no major blockers, just our power blackout yesterday. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to working hard and completing my tasks well this week. Yeah, I uh, wish everyone else um, all the best. Awesome. Thank you very much, Stella. I see Michael has shared his. I'm assuming that maybe your microphone is having issues. So I'll just read it aloud. He says that yesterday I was doing the logging, uh, pre-processing and modeling. I was able to submit the assignment on time. Only I forgot to turn in the last screenshot assignment and I was one minute late. So I'm optimistic about my future. Um, getting a lot of help from friends. I was having um, um, a little time management blockers. Today I will work on ML flow and introduction to, to the deep learning. So maybe a quick question to um, Michael with regards to the time management blocker. How are you working on that? How are you looking to address that? So if your microphone is, uh, is not working, you can feel, um, type. And I will read it later on, on how you're planning to work on that. So, Eden, I see your um, your hand up. So you're up next. Um, should I continue or wait for Michael? No, no, no. Just continue. We'll get Michael's response later. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I was doing the presentation slide and finalizing task one for the interim submission but I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't progress much regarding task two, 
But then today morning, I've been able to progress and finish feature engineering. And right now I'm doing the random forest modeling. Uh, so far, everything is going good and I hope I'll submit all my tasks before the deadline. Thank you. Um, Aiden, before you go, is there any particular reason why you didn't make um, a significant or, you know, desired progress on task two? Uh, I took my time on the slide too much that I was tired after that and slept. Uh, but then it helped me a lot because today I'm very energetic. Okay. And uh, so basically, I'm looking at it at, yes, there were tasks that were kind of assigned to you that you were supposed to complete. So probably in future, so that you're able to complete all the tasks you have and to your desired output, what do you plan or how do you anticipate to do that moving forward so that at least you're happy with the, all the tasks, how, how you produce all the tasks that are assigned to you, to your own standards, yeah. Oh, sorry. So the question is, how am I going to plan it to the next steps uh, so probably moving forward you were you you're not happy with the progress you made with the second task uh, as i'm you know if i understand it very well so in future how do you plan to work on that so that at the end of the day you're happy with the progress you make with all the tasks that you have at hand um i hope i'll fin uh, i hope i'll do it um with more like energy and I'll be hard working <laughs> regarding the next uh, three days, I think. And I'm planning, um, I'm continuously planning my future tasks so that I can finish before deadline. Excellent. So I'm, 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 I'm definitely without doubt know that, you know, you already are very hard working and more, all of you guys are hard working. So it might also um, maybe work to your advantage if you're able to plan your time really well, because at, at the end of the day, you, you know, we are meant to like to, to be trained to, um, to do a lot in a very small um, uh, amount of time. So sometimes it's good to kind of uh, manage your time very well so that you, you ensure that you, um, you're able to produce the work you'd want to produce uh, in all the tasks that are, are at hand. Thank you so much for that. And anyone else before I kind of, okay, test fire. Tisfaye, you're up next. Please share with us your yeah. progress, your focus. Yeah, hello guys, good morning. Uh, so, uh, can you hear me right? You can hear me right? Oh yes, loud and clear. Okay, okay. Uh, so yesterday was, uh, I think it was, so it's a good day. Uh, I have finished every submission uh, well, except the reporting, but I may be uh, late like 20 minutes or so. Uh, but. Uh, uh, overall, it was good, and uh, today I'm planning to go over the regression part and uh, deep learning. I will uh, check those and try to complete those uh, tasks, task two and task three, because uh, we have already done task two before, and task three is the new, the only the new thing. So uh, I'm planning to finish that. Uh, so yeah, I have, I was having some blockers that uh, make me late for the. Uh, reporting submission, my PC was not working well, but uh, it's okay, just 20 minutes, so it's, uh, it's not bad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tespai. It's good to hear about yeah. the progress. And I don't know if you're joking, but, um, you know, I, 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 can, I, I can tell your, your breathing rate is beyond the normal one that we are used to. So, um, yeah, so we can get... Um, Oh, I see Daisy has her, her hand up. So please, Daisy, if you could unmute and share with us. Um, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, so for me, yesterday was okay. I was able to submit all my tasks on time. 
like Eden, I feel like I paid a lot of attention to the slides. And by the time I was getting to proceeding to task two, I was too tired, so I slept. But I woke up today and my focus uh, is going to be on modeling and uh, finishing up task two and getting into task three. At times, I feel like I get panic and anxiety attacks from stand-ups because everyone is always like, yeah, I'm done. I'm just left with doing like the final tasks but then again I'm reminded that I need to be mindful of my journey and my learning and I think also just to encourage everyone else who feels like me um, I think it's important to pay attention to your own learning as well and uh, uh, to like mind your learn as well ask for help when you need that so uh, that's my progress and I'm hoping to at least wind up on the modeling today. My biggest struggle this week has been the fact that I'm really paying attention to modular programming. And I, I don't know, I am yet to find like the best way to go about it. Uh, so that has been my biggest challenge this week. So if I understand it very well, your biggest blocker is you're paying attention to one thing and more like less attention to other things. Is that it? uh yes more or less i don't even know how to explain it better i i just feel like i don't know how to explain it but yes i think i'm stressing so much on uh, modular programming that i'm ignoring the fact that i would need to still progress with the rest of the assignment and, and perhaps is there a particular reason why you're um, you're focusing so much on this? Maybe because I would want to implement it for this particular task. Like I've not been doing it, and when I see projects where modularity has been implemented, like last week, I really struggled with coming up with code that can be reproduced because I had ignored the whole aspect of modularity. So I feel like it's really important that I implement it this week. Okay. All right. I, I mean, it's it's good that you identify uh, areas where you 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 need to really put much effort on. But as I said to Aidan as well, it's also important, you know, to ensure that uh, you, you you plan you plan your time very well to ensure that you complete the tasks that are given to you um, at hand. Yes, some of the tasks you find some will be easy depending on where your strengths are and some you'll need a lot more time and this is why even the community is available the tutors are available so in case you have a particular area where you you're really struggling with it doesn't harm to kind of you know reach out to people so that you ensure that sometimes it can be even easier to learn from others um compared to like you doing research because sometimes you don't even have enough time to do that and as i said at the end of the day you you'll be expected to produce. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about the hard work in this team. I'm not concerned about the motivation. So only, the only thing we need to make sure that, you, you know, that matters as well is your output. And, and, and that has to be, you know, in, in however way you, plan, you want to plan, you need to ensure that um, your output is seen. Anyway, so let's move to the next. Uh, who's willing to go next? So if um, if we could get something, uh, a word from Rafa as well. Rafa, are you there? If you could share with us your um, your progress and blockers that you've been facing, probably went through yesterday, that would be nice. Hello, hi Mari and everyone. Morning. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like, we had a perfect day yesterday, <laughs> but yeah, like, so I don't know how to put this. So first of all, we just had a power issue. So now I, I we don't have the power. And also last night, uh, there was a power outage. So I had to wake up and uh, like almost I didn't sleep since last night, last day, uh, trying to finish the tasks. And uh, like I felt in, in uh, 
I, I was just going, like, I wouldn't say that I was time in the last three days to make the assignment, everything just on time. Yet, I, I did have, uh, like, one of the submission was late and one of them, uh, until now, I'm trying to fix it. Um, so, it's not like I'm disappointed, but uh, kind of, you know, you are feeling that you are pushing so much and I don't know. I, I really like somehow, um, yeah, I, I don't know how to say, <laughs> yeah. So, Rafa, are you, are you happy with the progress you're making so far? Or you've so, made so far? Yes, yes, so okay. much. And, Actually, and, mm -hmm. And besides besides the power outage, is there any particular technical, small, big, fat, thin challenge <laughs> that you're facing that is making you, other than the power outage, which is definitely outside our control, is there any particular uh, uh, blocker that is uh, that is hindering you from maybe uh, putting out the best uh, work out there, or maybe? from you being able to complete tasks on time? So I would say it's like, uh, almost like what said, uh, Desi said, it's about mm. uh, the ML. Uh, so I'm still trying to put more on this and yeah, seeking for help from others, uh, uh, trainees. So yeah, yeah. like- uh, And how has, how has that been going in terms of seeking help? Have you, been how has the progress been in terms of you seeking help and you getting the help and you learning whatever it is that you were yeah going to. actually if it's just like if i put this in a plot it will be like uh, much higher than the last week of course so definitely that there is, is progress good. yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah. good to know that you're making some significant progress and keep doing that because as i keep on saying well, you know, at the end of the day, it's about what you're able to produce, which 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 shows we'll never know how much you're learning unless we see from the uh, from the product or from the produce mm -hmm. or from the output you give. So keep doing that, keep learning from each other, and don't uh, fail to reach out to anybody. And you know, there are people who are already volunteering here. So Ken, yeah, thank thanks to see your hand up. So if you don't mind, join uh, just unmuting and telling us uh, your progress, any particular blockers uh, that you'd want to share with us. Okay, I believe everybody is doing, doing well. So yesterday I worked on the submissions. I managed to submit most of the tasks sometime, except for one. I had a challenge on working on some some of the tasks in task 1.1, 1 .1, but I reached out to Edidia, he helped me out, and I'm okay with that. So today, I want to finalize task 1.2 and task 2. So there are no serious blockers apart from the one I had, but it's already sorted out. Thank Thanks you. for for telling us about your progress, and you know I like how you guys keep on reaching out to one another uh, in terms of you know getting help with different things. So um, Shaka Shaka Kevin, your hand is up. So you're up next. Please share with us um, your progress and any particular blockers. And it can be particular general blockers as well that are generally affecting your, your, your progress in general. So feel free to, to share with us. Yeah, good morning. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yesterday I was working on my submission and uh, I, ma I managed to submit some of the tasks, like 75% uh, of the tasks uh, were submitted. And uh, in terms of brokers, uh, I don't have any like uh, general brokers besides like uh, being struggled to understand some machine learning concept and uh, by trying to understand take me time to to finish the tasks. So, so far it's been good. Uh, I have like a significant progress compared to 
yeah, it is amazing. Thank you, thank you, Kevin. And in terms of, um, if you don't mind sharing with us, how are you, how are you um, going about the understanding of the concepts that uh, you're saying that were your blockers? So, what what exactly are you doing in terms of? you know, equipping yourself, upskilling yourself with that? Is it through other people? Is it through your personal research? And how is that going? Yeah, both, both. Like, uh, how to try to search on the internet and find some tutorials that can help me to hone my skills in that particular field. And also I've tried to reach out some, like, guys who have, like, a strong background in it. For instance, Martin. Martin helped me a lot to understand some concept. Yeah, thanks. Awesome, awesome. That's good to know. Um, so we we have a few um, a few other messages here. Um, so it seems Biruk is also in a very noisy place. So he says, sorry, I'm in a disturbing environment. Yesterday, I tried to complete all the tasks for the interim report. I was faced, I faced a major power outage blocker and can complete uh, uh, one of the tasks. But I'm hopeful that I will complete everything for the final submission. So probably my question to Biru could be, what, what happens if the power outage persists? So it's just out of curiosity, If are there any other alternatives to, to, to ensure that you're able to submit your tasks despite uh, the, the blocker, which is out of uh, your control? So if you don't mind typing it as well, it would be nice to know. So Geza, um, Geza managed to finish his tasks and uh, work to increase level of modularity on different models. On the way forward, I had a blocker regarding ML flow and something my PC stocks with Docker. So I'm sure Anastasia and other people uh, really understands all this terminology because I'm a, I'm a bit green when it comes to this area. So what do I feel? I catch a problem with ML flow. I think I will complete my challenge. So um, if any of the um, technical team and tutors are here, so please kindly follow up with the, with the texts um the chats so that if there's any uh of of uh any follow-up questions you'd want to reach out for clarity uh please feel free to use the the chat box so i can see titus titus you have your hand up titus so please un unmute and share with us uh thank you for the opportunity uh, good morning bonjour good morning are you able to hear me Yes, loud and clear. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. So, um, yesterday, uh, I spent uh, most of my time uh, doing a uh, uh, presentation on task one, uh, one point one, basically. So, I like uh, spent a lot of time in that trying to figure out the, the best way to approach the, 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 the task, the questions, and uh, yeah, I, I took a lot of time just trying to research on it. Um, and uh, that really consumed uh, much of my time. Uh, so I had to Sorry, reach out to a lot of time doing what? Um, I, I, I spent a lot of time on task one point one, just trying to figure oh, okay. out like most of the stuff like okay. myself before before reaching out to to my friend. So um, yeah, so that like it it, it it really consumed a lot of my time. But um, after I reached out to a number of friends, um, I got help, and uh, most of which are done. So I managed to submit most of the tasks uh, in time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm content with that because, um, yeah, I think I did some good job yesterday and with the help of uh, the assistance from my other colleagues. So, yeah, um, yeah I think it was okay. Yeah. Sorry, I, I might have missed. Uh, do you did you have any blockers, particular blockers? I might have missed that. Sorry. Oh my blocker. Oh um, I had uh, issues uh, with, like I tried I tried to research and understand the the, the questions by myself, and it really mm -hmm. like took a lot of a lot of my time. 
okay. just trying to figure things out. Uh, so like I, I, I had to reach out to my friends, which was a little bit late, but um, yeah, I got help. So yeah, I think I just I have to change my mode of study and really more or more, more or less um, just uh, collaborate more often, like just ask questions more more often, but just yeah, basically just get to interact more often and uh, uh, so that I could uh, we could just help each other. So yeah, but I managed to submit uh, all, most of the tasks in time, and uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you really much for very much for sharing that, and I, I hope it's also a lesson to to many of us. Um, Titus just shared with us his lesson of trying to you know, um, of wasting a lot of time trying to learn things uh, that other uh, team members know. Uh, on his own. So let's let's try and use the resources we have, which includes ourselves and our community as well. So thank you so much, Titus, for sharing that. So we would like to hear from, let's say, Maron. Maron, are you there? Would like to hear your progress, um, how you're faring, and any of your blockers, particular one, maybe for, 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 for the tasks at hand, or maybe general one that are affecting your general progress. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Mary. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, Marilyn. Loud and clear. Can you hear me, you guys? I'm sorry. Sorry, you went. Yeah, you went on mute. You went on mute, but we can hear you. Okay, thank you. So basically, uh, yesterday I was trying to make the most out of my time and just working on uh, the submission, uh, the interim submission, and also finishing task uh, task one. So as a blogger, as a blocker, I think what I faced was a power outage. Uh, really, really kind of challenged me trying to make uh, most of the time I have and trying to find solution to just make the submission. And I think that was an issue for me yesterday. But I did uh, manage to submit what I have uh, done. And I think it's okay. Mm, so that's about it. And I will continue on working for the next task, is task two, uh, starting now. So that's about it. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. So uh, no particular blockers with regards to the technical side of things other than the power outage. Other areas, you okay, right? Yes, technically, I think I faced a couple of blockers and I, I just tried to ask uh, my peers on Slack and some of the friends I've made uh, and also my previous group members have been helping me out as well. So I think most the thing I was challenged with was really time, you know, as uh, due to the power outage, I didn't have a lot of time. So that's it. Understood. Understood. Thanks. Thank you so much. Matilda, Matilda, if you're there, you could just unmute and also share with us um, your progress. I think, oh, she might have dropped. Uh, all right. Um, maybe let's go to Samuel. Samuel Alene, if that's how you pronounce your name. So please unmute and share with us um, your progress, specific and general blockers that you... Oh, Matilda is here. So you're going next after Samuel. Go, Samuel. Okay. Hello, Mary, and good morning to everyone. Uh, particularly for me, there was no blockers. Uh, uh, I had uh, I just submitted all the tasks on time. I guess one little blocker would be uh, and the technical issue. I had a little pro problem merging my GitHub branches, but I eventually it took a lot of time. But eventually, I fixed it, and that's all of with me. So I'm assuming that blocker was sorted out and now you're good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good now. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's good to know and good to hear you, that you're making good progress. And and may, maybe coming back to Daisy's point of feeling like, you know, um, you know, sometimes during stand-ups, you feel other people are way uh, ahead of you, others are, no, it's not quite supposed to be like that. Let's just be mindful, very mindful about our learning progresses and um, yeah, and stick to that put more effort on that uh, rather than, you know, that comparison kind of situation. So let's hear from Matilda. Matilda, are you there? You can just, uh, oh, you. Hmm. Am I the only one who can't hear Matilda? She seemed to be unmuted. No, oh, okay. Mic issues, mic issues. Okay, M Matilda, feel free to type it. Yeah, just type it on the chat, and uh, I, I, I will get, will get, um, um, will get your your comments there. So, Salam, are you there? If you're there, please unmute and share with us your progress, your blockers, and any particular assistance you might need from, you know, we have tutors here, we have, uh, uh, and your fellow community. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, yesterday, uh, I managed uh, to uh, submit a task one, and I was uh, working on task two. Um, I'm going to finish uh, task two today and move on to task three. Uh, the blockers I had was um, I realized uh, I have to submit the screenshot at the last hour, so it wasn't that effective, and uh, that was it. And uh, I have learned that uh, in future I need to see uh, the requirements I need to fulfill uh, when submitting. Uh, so that I could have a good result. I agree. I totally agree. And thanks for sharing that with uh, with us. It's usually important to 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 take your time when you're reading instructions about something, so that you're able to to submit everything and accurate uh, staff um, that you're required. Even for the future, that's how it works, whether here or whether in a working setup. It's good to understand instructions and and all the tasks that you're required to do. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. And now I want to hear a little bit from Te Wardros. Te Wardros has been unusually very quiet. So if you're there, just unmute, share with us your progress and any of the blockers that you're having. Okay, uh, good morning, Mary, and good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday I worked on uh, the submission and managed to submit on time. Uh, so I'm now just proceeding to task two, and, and uh, hopefully I'll try to finalize that by the end of the day. So no blockers so far. No blockers so far, that's good to know. And that's good to hear that you're on top of um, uh, all your activities that I expected of you. So I think um, we are now, oh, Dagmawi, I, I hope I, I pronounced that okay. So if you, you can hear me, Dagmawi, please unmute. Then um, Amal, you can just uh, prep. You're coming in next. So we start doing some warm up. You're coming in next. So um, Dagmawi, if you can hear me. Just unmute and share with us your progress. How everything yes, is going. Hello. And any hi, hi. Hi. So uh, to update you on my progress, I, I've been working on the submission tasks that we were obliged to us on the, uh, yesterday. So uh, most I haven't progressed on the on working the uh, on working the the succeeding tasks, tasks like uh, task two and uh, task three, but I, uh, because I was working on, on, on the, 
on some on submitting the required tasks and according to the blockers uh, i did i did face a power outage uh, for at least like five hours but it's what's expected uh, in living in africa i think so so that was that was about it yeah thank you for sharing and maybe out of curiosity are these power outage like random or you are communicated to so say like okay tomorrow guys from 8 to 10 no power is it like random then you're like blackout no <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't nothing like that we mm. just go off and uh uh it's just constantly coming uh coming on and ca coming off so uh, we just didn't know if if we if we had if, if we had if we would have known that we that we that we would face a blackout we would uh at least uh, plan our day and to go somewhere else to work on our task but uh uh we can't know they will give us hope by coming by giving us light for a certain time and it will go off again so yeah, yeah that's it that's uh that's all to be honest that's really challenging when you don't know what to expect you don't know when the power is going off we don't know when it is coming back so i can completely understand your situation and well unlike some of us in our reality we, we don't experience so much power outage in kigali so mm -hmm. I, I i totally i totally understand where you're coming from and i know uh people like curry in south africa and uh, and other people in the sadic most of these uh, uh power outages are usually communicated so it's more like on 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 this day from this time you not have power anyway so amal i hope you're well prepared for the you, you are the one who's closing for us today can you hear me okay hi hi hello yeah, i missed that piece. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, you bring it. Can you tell you what are you doing? So I was saying that you can share with us your, you're going to be our last person today to share with us okay. your progress with the tasks and uh, any particular blockers. And feel free to even share any general blockers that are, that are, that are hindering your general progress as well. So feel free to share any of those as well. Okay, and so yesterday I was able to complete the task, task one. Uh, however, the logging was a bit new to me, so I was trying to catch up with the, the notes and stuff from internet. Um, reporting, also I reported uh, late, I submitted the report late uh, due to power, uh, but it was temporary. Uh, finally, I was able to submit. And um, I had a blocker with my GitHub, so it was a bit challenging yesterday night, but uh, I managed to submit. Um, I'm, I feel I'm in progress, but uh, I still need to do a lot. So what is the particular challenge that you had with GitHub? Uh, uploading my uh, commit. Okay. All right, and, uh, yeah, and I, maybe to continue. I tried to Martin. Martin. Yeah, Martin helped me a lot yesterday, um, but I still need to do work on it. Awesome, awesome. That's good to know. And um, thank you, Martin, for your continued support. So pr probably before you go, you you mentioned um, logging was a bit uh, new to you. So. Can you maybe update us on the progress in terms of how how you're working on you know familiarizing yourself with that and how it is going so far? How are you doing it? Okay, uh, they shared someone shared uh, a link to the logging uh, tutorial, so I'm following step by step. And uh, in case I have any challenge, I reach out to Sika. Awesome. And how is it going so far? So are you making progress with it? Yeah. 
yet. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, so as I said again, you know, at the end of the day, the only way you would know that you're learning something is when you're able to produce uh to 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 to, to produce some work around that and you're able to produce good work. So I'm um, sorry, I'm a bit more of you know output oriented. I I like to see output at the end of the day, which is a reflection of the learning process. You know, the, the only way people know that you're learning is when you're producing that. So thank you very much for sharing. I don't know if I've oh I don't I, I don't know if I've closed uh, for anybody. Is there anybody who's not shared today? I feel like everybody has shared. For those who've not um, uh, shared verbally, they have shared um, their via text. And okay, so I think everybody has shared, and we will be uh, closing in a bit uh, this session for today. Uh, yeah, it's good to hear very good great progress from all of you and i will encourage you to continue with that and again i can't i cannot um i don't know how best to emphasize on this let's let, let, let's uh it's good to be motivated but it's also good to be uh to to, to uh to be very productive in terms of like in your learning process so if it's work um if it's an uh, if it's an assignment if it's this and that how i how am i able to produce how can i be better in terms of my output every day work on uh trying to be better in terms of what you produce your outputs because this is the way uh you will know as well this is the evidence that you're actually learning when you're able to say okay i can compare my assignments from last week to this week this is the improvement i've made i wasn't able to do this this is what i'm able to do this week my report last time was very disorganized now i'm i'm getting impressed with my report this week so that is the only way you would that is evident to you as yourself and to us as well that you um uh, that you are making good learning progress. So before we close, um, so one of us, one of us is going to be leaving us soon uh, due to health issues. It's it's sad to say that um, Sidoan uh, Sidoan Dako is going to um, uh, it's going to discontinue the training because he's um, he's facing some health issues, uh, which we are all uh, uh, disappointed about or i would say we, it's a, a very unfortunate situation but at the end of the day health comes first so uh at this moment in time i would like to give uh if sidwan can hear me would like to give you uh, like a couple of minutes to kind of uh give us a, a farewell note and and probably a morale boosting note from your end. So if you can hear me, please unmute and share with us um, um, your farewell notes, please. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Sidwan and has narrated uh, due to some health, uh, bad health condition, I will not be able to continue the training. So I try to discuss with the team academic team and I would like to, to thank them for, for their support because the only team that was committed to our training, I discovered a team that also valued to human beings. So I can say that I spent a good experience with the Teen Academy, but I also met some beautiful people like Matilda and Michael. Also Martin that provided me some help when I faced some issues. So it was a great experience for me, and I think you will, uh, you will, uh, maybe do your best to to end the, the training because I think it's a great opportunity for us to learn about machine learning, data engineering, and web three. So best wishes, guys. All the best for you. So thank you, Mary. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sudan, for that. And I, I can see a lot of get well soon uh, message coming your way. 
So I hope you receive them warmly. And we really, really, really um, uh, wish you um, a quick recovery. So on behalf uh, on behalf of all the trainees, maybe I'll, I'll call upon um, Eden to kind of, you know, represent um, the, the 10 Academy trainee community and maybe say uh, a farewell yes. note as well. So Eden, are you, uh, could you, can you hear me? If you can, please um, unmute yeah. and, uh, and uh, yeah, up. you're up now. Okay. Dear 10 Academy community, we have assembled today to celebrate a very special event, our farewell to Sedoin. I'm extremely thankful to the 10 Academy community for giving me this opportunity of delivering the farewell speech. Some tears will be shed, some smiles will be shared as we bid farewell to a truly amazing fellow member, Sedoin. We are honored to have worked with you. We wish you all good luck and success on your new adventure. We hope that we can keep in touch throughout the years ahead. Again, we're very sorry to see you go. We hope this has been an enjoyable time at the 10 Academy and that we'll all see you again someday. Thank you. Thank you so much for that um, lovely note. And I hope it is very representative and can be generalized across all our feelings. And um, yeah, on that on that note, Sedwan, we wish you all the best and the quick recovery and and hopefully you know i i believe that the relationships we've built here it's it's just beyond it's just beyond the training uh level so i hope we can continue uh engaging with uh, uh with some members here and you can keep on uh you know building new uh building stronger connections with them so ladies and gentlemen We've come to the end of today's stand up unless we have any urgent or any announcement from the team. Do we have any from the team or any word from the tutors or any concern, any something particular? Uh, uh, this would be the time because we're about uh, we'll be closing in the next two minutes. So anything Everest from your end? Nothing. The next okay. is in the five minutes. That's all. All right. All right. All right. Uh, any, anything from the tutors? I will. I will. I will. I will from my side. Oh, okay. Um, awesome. We are. We are meeting in five minutes for the tutorial this morning. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. Anything from Anastasia? No, nothing from my end. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being a lovely audience, and I hope you had a good time today. So let's meet uh, in the next five and a half minutes uh, for the next session, and all the best um, uh, for today and the rest of the activities you have planned ahead. All right, bye, guys. Au revoir.